Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Today we're going to go over some of the preferences that I like to set so that the model layer is organized in a nice manner. Normally when you create a um, ADF business components through the wizard, it parts everything under the model area and it's quite unruly and messy. So we're going to go over a way to uh, have it automatically sort into nice packages. And the way you do that is you go up into tools, choose preferences. I've already opened it up, but you would open up the business component components and, and click on this to make it larger and then packages. <clears throat> We're going to name this EO and actually I'm going to name it util and VO. Shorter is better, and AM is fine. And actually, I like to have it. The VO is obviously the ob view object, but I would really like to have this start with a letter afterwards because the view object and EO and AM are really the ones that you work with the most. These guys you just kind of let to the side and, and don't really use. Um, so once we set the um, objects, these will these entities will automate automatically go into the EO, view objects will go into the view object and so forth, which makes the organization quite um, pleasant to look at, much more pleasant than all crammed together. Another um, thing that you might want to do is, I'm oh, sorry, set the object name and here it is. And I always like the suffix to be EO for that. VO that's fine for the AM okay so let's um, actually set some some projects here and it just occurred to me that I haven't set the database for this project or actually I have but you can do that by just dragging what you have there and so let's um, go to new Business components from table, click OK. We'll get the wizard. I always do auto query for um, short schemas like this, small schemas like this. OK, and here we have it. Today I'm just going to use the employees. And the jobs, I think I'll make a read only. Now, oh, excuse me, I got ahead of the gun. Um, it did put it into the employee ZO, but it did not name it properly, and I'll have to take a look and make sure. But I like to have my employee EO with that. And this is what the second one class naming that we did. Um, and then here you can see that when we shuttle this over, it actually becomes EOVO, which I don't really care for. So we're going to change this to V object. And but this is correct, model.vo. And now we're going to do jobs. And that is properly in, and we're going to change this to VO. We could specify that it was read only, but frankly, that's not really a big consideration at this point. And we're done. And you can see that this is a general overview of what we've just done. OK, now you can see we have everything organized. And the AM is here, the EO is here, uh, the association is here, and the view link is here, and the job and VO is there. Now, you can see here that um, there is, in fact, a association. And if we look at this association, you look at it by double-clicking on it in the relationship, you can see that the imp is attached to itself. And why is that? Well, because um, the manager for the imp is also an employee, so they use that one of the, and also for the association. Okay, so the view link and the association act together to help link the, um, create the relationships, database relationships that you have between the two. So 
So that's the basics of how to set up a clean model area by sorting into the classes. Now let's take a quick look at that because we did have object naming and it is in here but I don't see it didn't seem to take and maybe um, just didn't save. In fact that's different. So, Alright, well thank you very much. I hope that was helpful for you. Have a good evening.